Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat and I am on a journey to lose 140 pounds. I do um, weekly vlogs, weigh-ins, um, re share recipes, and as of this morning, weight loss transformation videos. I'm just putting my socks on. So, it is Monday. We are headed to the gym. Um, I just, I want to say thank you for all the well wishes for me being sick. Um, I felt them. I really did. It, this, this thing had me down. Okay. Oh, it, it had me down. Down for the count. But I am back. My voice is still a little shaky. I completely lost my voice for, for days. And, um, I couldn't talk. It was, it was pretty rough. But I'm feeling much better. My voice feels like it could go again, but um, I feel fine. I feel fine. I'm just putting my shoes on. <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm just going to be going through my week with y'all just because I have been gone for a while. So, the plan for today is go to the gym. I really need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to the grocery store. I might do that after the gym. It's about it's about ten thirty right now. Plan to, the kids are going to go to the gym with me, and then I'll take them to get some lunch, and maybe then go to the grocery store, and then come back, and let the baby take a nap, and then we'll see what else is going on. What else was I going to say? Um, oh, this week is going to be a little bit different for me because my employee is on vacation. So, sh so she's not able to work during the week. So, I have to work. Um, I'll be working Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so, I will only be able to get to the gym on Monday and Tuesday. Maybe Saturday morning before, um, before work. But, so I'm going to rely a lot on my steps this week. Excuse me while I put deodorant on. Um, I'm going to rely a lot on my steps. So, today and tomorrow, I'm going to go to the gym and do what I can. Today is going to be a light day for me because I haven't been to the gym since I've been sick. It's going to be my first day back. I'm going to go in. I'm going to do my little warm-up cardio I usually do. And then I'm going to keep it pretty easy with the street training. I'm going to do kind of a full body um strength training just to get my muscles back going and yeah that's the plan for today nothing too crazy nothing too heavy just to get back in routine you ever wake up and have like a skinny day like you feel really skinny that day I woke up this morning and I was like I bet I lost two pounds last night I don't know I'm just feeling it I think I got a little swollen and had some inflammation when I was sick and now that all that's going away I'm like I'm feeling skinny today. No, I'm not skinny. But, like, should we get a full body? Should we get a full body? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can back up. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Um, also, this is exciting news. I had my first, um, I had my first weight loss compliment. It was from my aunt, but that's okay. She said, Kat, it looks like you've lost some weight. I said, I have over 25 pounds. Thanks. She said, well, you look fantastic. And I said, thank you. I've been working hard. So it's always fun when people start noticing that you've lost weight. Um, I haven't really noticed much except for, um, like some swelling going down, but I mean, yeah, I haven't, I haven't noticed much. Um, my clothes fit a little bit better. Um, but I have a long way to go and 
I'm just glad that I'm getting weight loss compliments. That's always nice to get. Anywho, all right, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, I just finished my first session back at the gym. It's pretty rough. I feel <clears throat> I feel really weak, but it will get it will it'll get better. It'll come back. Everything will be fine. I just have to get back to where I was before I got sick. So I did a full body with basically just dumbbells. <clears throat> did a little workout, and I'm all done for the day. Get it. Okay, we are here. I have the kids with me. We're at a little um, a little produce stand in our town. And I'm going to see what kind of fresh local veggies they have today. I'm specifically looking for... Um, I'm looking for... Zucchini, squash, and some tomatoes. But we'll see what else they have. Okay, we got a good little haul. I will show you when I get home. But for all of my southern people out there, I got some boiled peanuts. Love some boiled peanuts. Now, you have to be careful with these because there's a lot of sodium in it. They make it with salt. And um, it's very easy to overindulge on. So, I'm at a point where I can actually have four or five and then put them down. So, this will be my treat today. Some nice boiled peanuts. If you know, you know. All right, this is what we got from the produce stand. Some onions, tomatoes, a bell pepper, some peaches, um, squash and zucchini, and of course, the boiled peanuts, and all this for $19. Not bad. We are here at the park. I brought the kids to the park before we have to go into work. They go to work with me. But I wanted to show you the little library. The little free library. Um, you can drop off some books. This is what it looks like. So we always bring some books and um, donate when we come. We brought like all of those. We brought all of those books. I'm trying to get rid of some. But this is a beautiful park. made it to work <clears throat> sorry for the air conditioner behind me I'm not gonna say what my business name is or what I do but I will say that we cater to children so I get to bring my kids with me to work which is awesome so we'll be here for another hour or so and then we're gonna head home and see what we got going on there okay we have made it to the afternoon I've got the kids playing in their little water table and I've got the dogs on the porch and I'm getting ready to brush them because I'm gonna give them a bath. I do their, um, their bathing and grooming at home. So they are way overdue. I can't do it both in one day. I can't, um, I can't bathe them and groom them in one day. So I will bathe them today and then in a couple of days I'll groom them. I will groom them. <laughs> is the OG. He's the baby. He's a one-year-old Labradoodle. Oh, oh. This is Finley. She's a three-year-old Golden Doodle, and they are both overdue for a bath and a groom. 
So that's what we'll do today. All right, here is the OG. He is brushed and fluffed. No, he has no mats, which is good. That's what I was really checking for when I was brushing him to see if he had any mats. So he is about to get his bath. Say hey, the OG. Say hey, you can't even see your eyes. No, you can't. It's time for a haircut. Finley, what's going on with your brother? Oh, get her. Get her. Dioji has become my, um, my support, my emotional support dog going through my separation. He's just always there anytime I'm feeling blue. He's just there to cuddle with. The um, Anytime the kids cry, he's there. He's just, he's a good emotional dog. And then Finley is a wild girl. She, run, she is the alpha. She bosses D.O.G. around. She's still sweet, but she's got a lot of energy. She listens well, but she's got a lot of energy. D.O.G.'s still learning. He's only one, so you got it. All right, D.O.G., you ready for a bath? Ready for a bath? Ready for a bath, buddy? Yeah. D.O.G., D.O.G., you mad at me? You mad at me? You look much smaller when you're wet. Yes, you do. All right, Finley. Let's get brushed. Let's get brushed. Up. Up, Finley. Up. No, D-O-G off. D-O-G off. Off. Good boy. Finley, up. Good girl. Sit. 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 Good girl. Ready to get brushed and washed? All right, y'all know what time it is, okay? It's time for them jeans, y'all. Time for them jeans. Go right now, get your jeans, and let's try them on together. Now, it's been a couple of weeks and about six or seven pounds lost since I've tried them on. My hair is wild today. So, about six or seven pounds lost since I've tried them on. A couple of weeks. Let's do it. Let's do this. They are on, they're still a little bit tight, but they are on. Maybe another two weeks. Yeah. So, it's not too bad close. These are high rise jeans, of course. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. All right. I'm going to give them two more weeks. Two more weeks and we should be good to wear these puppies out somewhere. All right. Happy Friday. Made it to the weekend. Well, it's the weekend for y'all. It's not the weekend for me because I work on the weekend. Let's not waste any time here. Let's jump right into my weigh-in video. Roll it. As you can see, I weighed in at 257.0. So in two weeks, because I didn't weigh in last week, um, two weeks, I lost 4.2 pounds. Yay! So two weeks ago, I weighed in at 261.2. This week, I weighed in 257.0. Loss of 4.2 pounds. Ah, it feels good. It feels good. I hit my mini goal of 259. I'm excited about it. I get a pedicure, which is perfect timing because my daughter starts school next week and she wanted to get her toes done before she started. So we're gonna go together. We're gonna I'm gonna make an appointment and we're gonna go together. Let me get my um, I'm gonna get my reward of my pedicure and she's gonna get her toast done before school. So happy. Now on to the next mini goal of 249. Now, when I hit 249, I get a facial. I get a facial. 
I'm excited about that one. But if y'all are struggling, like looking at your goal, your number goal, and it's just so daunting on you, do it by 10 pounds at a time. It is so, um, it is good for your mind. It's good for um, hitting goal. Like once you hit hit that first goal, you're like, yes, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. So I suggest doing it by 10 pounds at a time. Uh-oh. Yes. Up, please. Up, please. Up. So, yeah, when I hit 249, I get a facial, and I'm pretty excited about that one. The weight that I'm really looking forward to seeing is 245, because that is pretty much the lowest I remember being in my adult life is 245. I remember it very specifically. Um, it was before I had kids. Um, and I went, so I know this number specifically because I went to an indoor museum kind of thing with my husband and there was this ride, like I get on, sit down and go on it ride and it goes upside down and it was indoor and it had a weight limit of 250. My husband and I went and they asked me to step on the scale and weigh before I could get old, which, you know, I didn't have a problem doing, but I remember stepping on and I was 245. So that is, um, that was probably 10 years ago. So that is the lowest that I remember being as an adult. I mean, of course I've been lower than that, but that number just sticks out to me just because I had to weigh myself before getting on that ride and I was 245. So I'm really excited about seeing that number again and getting, getting below it. So as far as my week goes, I had a great week. I have Finley down here again. Hello. I had a great week. Um, I got right back on after being sick and um, things just worked out really well for me this week. I have no complaints. Uh, I got back into the gym. I got some soreness going on, but that's okay. Got back on my eating my eating track, and I had a pretty good week. I have no complaints about the week. Okay, let's talk about April a little bit. I'm going to try to be careful with what I say because I, I really don't want to offend anybody, but I'm, I've always kind of told it like it, like it is. Um, I have no problem with people being upset with me for things that I say. Um, I'm not going to say anything that someone else hasn't already said about this. So basically, April went on this trip. She gained five pounds. Now, it's typical to gain weight when you're traveling, um, especially if you're flying. It's pretty easy to gain weight. Um, water weight, just inflammation, whatever it may be. I think that April needs to um, get a little bit of professional help. Um, I'm a bit big advocate of therapy. It's helped me so much with um, my relationship with food, with my relationship with myself, with my kids. Um, but I think it's time she seek out some some help. Um, I'm not saying that to be ugly. Let, let's just say this. So she's been preaching this um, slow and steady, this these baby steps, this sustainable lifestyle. But as soon as she takes a trip, well, she was on a trip for a week, all that was out the window for her. So it's obvious that she has not changed her lifestyle. She has not changed her relationship with food because if she did she wouldn't have gained so much weight. And, and I know that she's struggling. I know that she's having a hard time right now. So I really think that therapy is a good option for her just to try to fix these underlying problems. Like I think that she needs to stop 
preaching that what she's doing is sustainable because obviously it's not. It's not because she hasn't figured it out yet. She has not figured out that this is a lifestyle change. She's, she keeps talking about being strict and not wanting to be miserable on her trip. And I don't understand that. I, I don't understand that because it's not supposed to be about a diet. It's supposed to be about changing your eating habits, changing your lifestyle. And that's what she's been, that's what she's been saying that she's doing. And obviously she's not because as soon as she goes off plan, it's like all of that goes out the window. So something's going on where she hasn't changed her lifestyle. That's all I really wanted to say about it. Um, I hope that she can swallow her pride and seek some help. I know that she, like I said, I know that she's struggling, but as much as she likes to deny it, I think she's going through a little bit of a depression and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting some help. So April, if you're watching, um, therapy is not showing weakness. There's nothing wrong with, with getting a little bit of help. Someone, everybody needs somebody to talk to. Um, I love my therapist. She has helped me through a lot of things, especially my separation. And I had postpartum depression. I had um, a really bad relationship with food. I have a really bad relationship with my parents. But all that's for a different video. <laughs> anyway, so um, it's okay to have some help and to have somebody to talk to. But that's all I want to say about that. I hope she gets the help that she needs. I hope that she can figure out that this is a lifestyle change and not just a restrictive diet when you're trying to hit a goal of 100 pounds down because obviously that's what she was doing and as soon as she went off of that she gained a bunch of weight. I know some of that's probably water weight from traveling but there's probably two or three pounds of fat gain that happened um, like she said she ate whatever she wanted she didn't track you know it's okay to eat um, off of your plan I don't know why I put it in quotations I guess because for me it's it's not a plan it's just what I do now but it's okay to do that on vacation but you can't do it the whole time you can't you she knew that she was coming back and doing a weigh-in that, in my mind, should have been enough to say, you know what, I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have this instead. She's obviously not done things in a sustainable way because she's not sustaining it. So what happens when she hits her goal of 200 pounds down? What happens then? You have to be able to continue doing what you're doing after you hit your goal. So I hope she gets some help. I hope she can figure it out. I hope just get that that weight off that she gained. I hope she gets it off pretty quickly and she can be back on track. Anyway, okay guys, that's it for me today. I'm getting ready to head off to work and I'm gonna get this video uploaded for y'all. I hope you enjoyed some time with me during my week. Next week, I will, I'm gonna be doing another recipe video and then I'm also going to do, or also plan to do, a, another um, weight loss transformation reaction on Monday morning. So be looking for those videos coming out. If you enjoyed this and you want to follow along, please subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I love reading the comments. And I will see y'all next week. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Peace.